Hi, so we've made bellows before actually, and we've made them using Venetian blind and then we've made those really large bellows that we ran our air conditioning unit with. But there's plenty of reasons that you can, uh, you would want actually to make bellows of a whole variety of sizes because bellows are just tremendously useful. And if you want to make them at a variety of sizes, then really you need a different methodology to do it. So this one's based on a template. Now I've been using a template to make bellows this kind of size from this material. This is a fabric tape. It's fabric covered in PVC. And when you make your final bellows out of it, it's actually quite springy and feels like leatherette and it's a very durable, airtight and um, light tight bellows. So amazingly useful and I wanted to share it with you. Now the first thing you need to do is draw up a template and your template needs to look something like this. Now I obviously drew that on a computer and that means that that template is now saved forever and I'll be able to produce as many bellows as that kind of size as I want to just by printing off my template. When I print off my template and I have a piece of card, this is 230 GSM is what goes through my printer, piece of card that looks like that. And when you saw the template, what you saw is a whole set of tram lines where they were eight millimeters apart with a two millimeter gap. And then I divided the page up into four and did some 45 degree angles. And it's all on one piece of paper, which is gonna hold everything together. Because the next thing you need to do is take yourself a steel ruler and draw down those lines with a sharp knife. But let's have a close up of me doing that. So once you've got your template printed out, take your knife, line up the ruler and draw the sharp knife down the tram lines. And continue with that all the way up the page. And when you've done that, just nick the edges of the tram line and lift it out. And again, go down the whole page doing that. So when you've done that, you get this kind of a grid pattern. Now what you do is take your tape and put it onto there, leaving the zigzags clear. And don't worry about using too much tape. This is part of what registers it. And obviously we do that one, two, three, four times. Now we've done that, we can go down, cutting out the zigzags. Just draw your knife through and you'll cut out a little zigzag pattern all the way down. Each time you do one, you need to tape it over and then do the next and the next. That's it with the zigzags cut out. So now what I want to do is tape over that before I do the next one. And the tape needs to overlap. And then we do the others. Okay, so I haven't done the end pieces because those are the end pieces that will interlock. But once we've done that, we can line up the two bits of card there and slice through the tape and turn it over. Now we need to tape this side. Okay, and that's what you end up with. Now we need to join this edge to this edge. And the easiest way I've found to do that is to find yourself a block, pop that down and then tape down there to hold that in place. And then we can bring that bit round, line it up, tape down there to hold it in place. And then we can put the fixing tape on and remove the two tapes that are being used to hold, uh, hold everything. So there are things held in place and lined up so that when they get their bit of tape on there like that. And here's their bit of tape. And then we can remove the holding tape. And now we need to feed a bit of tape down there and finish that off. 
So that makes a tube. Now this is the magical bit. I quite like this bit actually. I usually choose the thinner lines and push the thinner lines in. That is there's the shorter ones here where the trapezium were and the longer ones out. And you give a little nudge to the corner there and it'll start to fold up. And it's a bit like origami. Once it gets going, it just folds all by itself. So when we've done that, we need to finish them off. And to finish them off, you just cut a couple of blocks. One without a hole in it, one with a hole in it. Now these are 6.6 .6 centimetres because that's what fits the um, bellows that I've made. And as you can see, I've stuffed the one in. And I've put a little bit of decorative copper on it because I like copper. Now this just fits in there like that. And it's a little tight and a little fiddly, but you will get it to fit. Once you've got it to fit, you need to go around it with this white tape. This is a PVC electrician's tape that has stretch. So if you go around that with some tape, it will stretch out but pull back in again. Then what I do is I put a bit of something decorative and these are just um, brass tacks. They're uh, furniture tacks actually and that holds everything together and that will then be your finished bellows. So I'm going to put that in there and then tape it up. So that's it with this electrician's tape wrapped around a couple of times, pulling everything tight. This bit that's soldered over the top, I'll actually trim off. So I'll put the copper around it now for decoration, put the pins in and then trim that one off to make it neat. Now I won't bother doing anything with this surface here because this is the surface that's going to get fixed to whatever it is I want to fix it about on. That one I've prettied up with a little bit of copper because that one will be on show. And there it is finished. <laughs> anyway. This has got a surprising amount of suction on it, actually, it's kind of cool. I thought I'd share that with you because it's a nice way of making a bellows any size you want. I made that uh, really large bellows, actually, from Venetian Blind, but I also made another one in, this scale, in that larger scale from this. If you're using something really large, obviously, you're going to have to draw that template by hand, but if you want quite small bellows, even smaller than this, then doing it on the computer and saving that will give you a template so you can do as many as you like. But that's the bellows finished and I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.